Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is BDF44. Um, so uh, I see what's going on. As I've predicted, this was this situation with Daryl Morey, the NBA, and China and Hong Kong has cost the NBA some money. Already, you're starting to see the trickle down effect of that, which is not surprising. Um, LeBron James has chimed in. Some have said he sold out because he's protecting his interests, and some people are saying uh, that he's. He's backpedaling on one issue and he's not backpedaling on other issues as it pertains to our country, Kaepernick and all that. He'll speak up on that, but won't speak up on China. And so my position on LeBron James's uh, words were the thing that everybody seems to forget that LeBron James said was that he didn't have enough information, didn't know enough. He was too ignorant on the on the subject to speak on it responsibly. That was the meat and potatoes of what he said. That he doesn't know enough. He knew more about the Kaepernick situation because he's out here. He knows. He's a black man. He's involved. He's not Chinese. He doesn't live in China. He doesn't live in Hong Kong. He doesn't know what's going on out there to that degree. And that's what he stated. Now, when he he said that he felt that Daryl Morey wasn't informed, I couldn't take that stance because even in my, on my own video, I said, I think Daryl Morey probably knows exactly what he's talking about. He's probably well-versed on the situation because I don't think he would have spoken out on it if he wasn't. So I don't agree with LeBron on that. I think the man knew what he was talking about. I just don't think he understood the ramifications of, of speaking out or, or really thought that through, which is something LeBron James came back and said uh, in, in, in clarifying his statement. So I just want to put that out there and say that much about it. Now, for me, man, again, I still haven't read up on the situation any further. I'm just listening to pundits speak, and I'm I'm irritated to a degree as, as I'm reading comments and all of that because people are trying to compare the two situations. The two situations being the conflict with Daryl Morey, Hong Kong, China, and the NBA, and, of course, Colin Kaepernick, the NFL, police brutality, American issues. This is America, okay? If a black man speaks up on a black issues, he should... Be knowledgeable in that conversation to some degree because he's here, he's black, and he has some insight on how he feels about that situation or she feels and about that situation. When it comes to this time China's Chinese issue, we are not the police of the world, America. We are not the moral police of the world. We don't have our own things together. We still have issues where people feel as if they're being uh, uh, brushed aside, disenfranchised uh, because of the color of their skin and because of the, the way that they love. We have issues out here that others don't need to be following is the point I'm trying to make here. We don't want the world to follow us on all our issues. For one, we're not old enough of a country. We are infants in comparison to China and Hong Kong. They have been around forever. We've only been around for but for 500 years. So they have already survive some of the things that we're trying to accomplish which is why i can fathom why certain things for them may not work for us and vice versa but that does not mean that i don't believe in the freedom of, of for human beings but my solution to that in my own mind is invite others to come to you if you want people to have the freedoms that you have don't try to implement those freedoms and those 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 policies there trying to police them there and fight them to your, your your country which is what this thing was about ain't that what the lady's standing there for in, in new york with, with, the, with the green and all that and holding the book and holding the the, the 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 torch that's what it's about it's about inviting people to the place where you've created for you to have the things that matter to you so if they want to come here that's what it was all about that's what america was all about inviting others here not changing the world to mimic us when we don't even have our stuff together so that's the first point that I want to make. The second point I want to make is this. You cannot possibly tell me that these two situations are the same at all. Colin Kaepernick is basically saying to the NFL, hey, this is a statement that I want to make based on things going on outside of sports, outside of what's uh, outside of of entertainment. And the NFL has essentially told him to shut up for reasons to me it seem like because they support the other aspect side of the aspect of it. The NFL owners, the NFL in, in, in and of itself, it's basically a, a, a facet of those who really want black people to shut the hell up, sit the hell down, and behave while they continue to, do, to be the center of the earth. While they continue to, to run amok 
in white supremacy. That is what the NFL has shown me through their energy and through the spirit in which they've handled the situation. That is not what we understand this China and Con uh, China Chinese Hong Kong conflict to be. Why? Because we don't fully understand the Chinese and Hong Kong conflict. This is much more in depth. It's much more. It's it's much further away from anything that we understand. And most importantly, China has only but released so much information for us to understand while centering. Uh, what what they're allowing us to 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 present to their people so we don't even know if everybody's getting the same information it's a very tricky situation when you're dealing with the chinese government because of how they run but what we have to understand is that they are much older than us the things that have worked for them have have spanned a lot longer than what we have so asking them to to relate to us or asking our people to uh compare the two situations is is is, is a fallacy it's a mistake it's, 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 it's why we have so many issues with China is because we want the world to be us when we haven't even mastered our own thing. So, no, these are not the same situation. Colin Kaepernick is standing up for something that he understands. LeBron James, when he speaks on, on issues in, in social justice issues in America, it's because he is in America. He's related to people who are dealing with these circumstances, who feels passionately about these circumstances, who are on the ground out here. Nobody's we're not over there in China. Now, does he have his business interests wrapped up in China? Yes. He might fly to China once or twice a year, maybe a little more than that, to assure that things are running smoothly. And he heads back this way. And it's a very complex situation, obviously, because business and government over there are intertwined and the government controls how things are done. As to where out here we have freedoms, quote unquote, they use more manip manipulative tactics to keep us in, involved rather than just outright tell us to shut up and be quiet and all of that, even though you try. The resistance is too strong. We've had too many movements out here in a short period of time, in less than 100 years, that have made it so that people have fought and won their freedom. Let Hong Kong fight for their freedom. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to go over there and say, hey, 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 you need to be like us. Because we are the center of the world and we're the moral police and we have it all together. No, we don't have it all together. I'm telling you right now I have issues with what's going on in this country and I don't feel comfortable here a lot of the time because of these issues. We don't have it together. We need to be following others in some cases, because we haven't lasted as long, and we may not last as long as them if we continue to think we're the center of the universe. Let's face it. We've got plenty of problems. Plenty that we can speak on, that we are qualified, is the word, to speak upon. China and Hong Kong is not one of them. Respect their situation as that. Let history tell their story. They are going to be whatever they end up being. They don't need your help, America. They don't need it. If they need it, they'll ask for it. They got a billion people over there that can help them work their situation out. They got people fighting. They're fighting. Yeah, they're going to love the support of Daryl Morey. Anybody loves the support of someone from the outside helping them. But that does not mean that it's your responsibility to step in, chime in, and tell them how to run their stuff. It's not. You sit on the sideline, you show support for everybody, and you understand your own ignorance. That is the responsibility of America in this situation. Understand your own ignorance. You don't know what's going on over there. You're not over there. And most importantly, you're not well versed on the history or the communications that are needed to give you the information that you have, that you would need to be responsible in your speech. Stay the fuck out of it is what I'm saying to you. Point blank period. Stay out. Don't bother them. Do business with them and shut your mouth. Just like they do in regards to your situation. Do you see them chiming in on how to, uh, we don't like how you're treating the black people. We don't like how you're treating the Hispanic people. No. They don't chime in because they are not aware. And they are responsible and, res and respect the fact that they are not aware. That ever occur to you that we need help too? That we're not getting it? No. Why? Because you think you got it all under control when you really don't. This country's hanging on by a thread. People are almost ready to start going crazy over this police brutality crap. People are losing their minds in regards to the imbalances in this country. People are at each other's throats about certain things that are going on right now. And just a hundred years ago, people were not even able to vote, weren't even able to, to really speak their minds because of this color of their skin. And now that China, who's been around for 20 times longer than you, is supposed to be following your lead? Who are you? That's the problem that I have with my own country. We think we're the center of the universe. We think we're the only ones that to be able to chime in on everybody's business while nobody is supposed to chime in on ours. No, no. Let China handle their own situation. Let Hong Kong handle their own situation. Let them fight for their freedom. Stop buttoning on other people's business. It's none of yours. 
And you don't know enough to be responsible in your speech. That's all I got, man. I'm getting frustrated because I'm seeing people try to compare these two situations as if they're, they're parallel in any way. They're not. Everything that's going on over here is based on the values that this country was built upon, which are hypocritical values. Values that we don't even stand for to this day. People have been celebrated for doing wrong and in jail for being right in this country. People have been pushed aside like they don't even matter in this country. And we're supposed to follow you? Hell no, nobody's following us. We need to get our own stuff together. We ain't got no right to speak on Chinese issues. If you want us, like I said last time, I support freedom all over this world, but I understand and fathom that the freedom that we have is built on hypocrisy. The freedom that we claim to have is not really free for everyone. You understand what I'm saying? We don't have it all together. Who are you? Get off your high horse, America. Get out of your privilege, America. Step aside and learn something, America. Let Hong Kong and China work their issues out. They will. Even if they got to fight to do it, they will. And maybe if you stay out of it, you might be able to learn something from those folks. Aside from that, man, I just hope everybody can find a way to, to get back to what America should have been about, even though it was built on hypocrisy and lies. Doesn't mean that we can't adapt to those values. Invite others over. Stop pushing people away and building walls to try to divide people and, 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 and saying things to try to silence people. If you really stand for what you say you stand for, then be about it. Stop fronting. Stop acting like you're something you're not. We are a country built on blood shared and lies. Okay? No one should be following us anywhere. What we have going for us right now is entertainment. And, the, and different cultures that are here, that a big facet of this country seems to be trying to push away. And silence. So no, I, I do not look at us as the center of the world. I look at us as an infant country trying to figure out self-awareness. And try to figure out what we really stand for. And who we really are. And doing a poor job at it, quite honestly. So no, I support China. I support Hong Kong because I don't know any better. I want people to get along there. I want their situation to work themselves out. And I hope that the Lord can bless each and every one of them with a solidarity that's greater than anything that we understand. That's what I want. As a black man. But as an American too. You understand what I'm saying? We got our issues. Let's focus on those. Let's help the people next door. They got some issues down there. I just read right now that some uh, uh, El Chapo's... Uh, Nephew or something like that was released because people were shooting in the streets. That shit is going on on our land down the street. Okay? We got our issues. We got things we need to sort out. We don't need to be focusing on everybody else's problems. That doesn't mean you don't care about their problems. It just means you respect the fact that you have your own to deal with. And a lot of this is just deflection from those issues. A lot of this is just deflection from things that really matter right here on our soil. Get off your high horse. You are not the center of the earth. PDF.